Moving our way to the driver portion of the vehicle, we could see here the seat for the driver as well as the seat for the radio operator. In the center of the seats is the tank's Allison transmission. This is another kit that's offered by EastCoastArmory.com and is also available to work on any Sherman-based vehicle, from the Priest to the Sherman to the M3 Lee. Below the radio operator seat there, we get to see the tank's escape hatch. Sherman-based vehicles had their escape hatch directed below the radio operator seat. There's a small lever, you hit it with, the hand, with a wrench, the plate would drop out, and you would then be able to escape from the vehicle from the floor. There's the drive shaft shroud, along with the transmission hub. There's the... Over here we have the driver controls. These here are your steering levers. That there is your gas pedal. And on this side here is the clutch. Mounted on this uh, to the side of the transmission is your stick shift, and this is how you would switch through gears on the manual Allison transmission. The tank's front detail wall has been added on the interior. This features the wiring for the headlights, as well as the tank's intercom system. Here we have some electrical transformer boxes, along with a ventilated style bulkhead. These are found on both sides. Here's the tank's SC, SCR 508 radio. I have to get in focus. There we go. The radio is another EastCoastArmory.com kit as well as all the pieces that I just showed on the interior before. On the right hand side or on the left hand side of the driver compartment we have the tank's dashboard and instrument gauge. Here we have the different gauges and the ignition for the tank's engine. Since it is so difficult to get pictures of inside the vehicle, here are some static images taken during the tank's construction. On the tank's hatches, we have the interior hatch detail from Panzerwerk. There's three of these mounted inside this vehicle. Two on the hatches and one mounted on the interior for this guy over here. This model is the fourth Plastic Panzers M10 that I have built. The others are in my personal collection and one of which belongs to another private collector. This model will soon be shipped to its new home. Prior to that, the tank already has its 50 caliber machine gun and cradle on the way. Once it is installed, the tank will be boxed up and mailed out. And that concludes this project showcase video for this 1-6 scale custom built M10 tank destroyer. For more builds and more detailed components, don't forget to check out eastcoastarmory.com. Thank you.